Good evening, seniors and parents. This is Mr. Akiona with your weekly update for items and events surrounding graduation and all things senior. Today is May the 6th, 2020. And good evening, everyone. And I um, want to kind of get started with a couple of items to start off with. This is a view of our graduation from last year. This is May um, of 2019. A uh, beautiful shot of that night. And um, hopefully we can get something close to the recreation, recreation of this. Uh, although I will go through some elements. Um, and as we're looking at things, it may look a little different than what you're looking at here. I wanted to remind everybody that we do have a plan for pickup of graduation items, caps and gowns, and other items that have been ordered from Balfour set for this Friday evening. Again, I'm gonna kind of go through the logistics of it. To start off with, the only gate that will be open is our main gate right here, the southeastern gate where people normally come in. Uh, and we will have three locations set up for pickup of items. It's all based on last name and the hour of the day. I'll show the schedule for this. I went over this the last senior update, but just to reiterate it, we want everyone to come out because we've got some special things planned for our seniors for this evening. Don't wanna to give too much away, but um, we would love to see every senior out um, and every senior that comes through will either receive the items they've ordered or an update about items they're going to be receiving or borrowing. So um, they'll receive some sort of information uh, as they come through. Um, so spot one or location one pickup will be the main entrance. So if you're looking, this is like where the flagpole would be. This is the main entrance. Spot two will be the back bus ramps and there'll be signage telling everyone where to go. So if you're going to spot two, there'll be a sign right here saying turn in front of the frontage road. This is our main school sign and then go back to spot two. Spot three, there'll be a sign saying take a left or take a right here, and then you're gonna go around the greenhouses, line up, pick up your items here. There'll be a spotter at each location looking for the name of the individual on the front of the car. As people are coming through, seniors, you'll need to have a photo ID. Your school ID would be preferable, but you may use your driver's license because we are giving items away based upon the individual that should be picking them up. You will not be able to pick up items for other graduates. Um, we will be available to give items out after this night, but the individual will have to come up um, and uh, produce photo identification as well. So please have either your school ID or your driver's license available as you come through. So a spotter may be here for spot one. They'll call back, they'll radio back um, for, to have items ready for the individual coming through. As you come through, remain in your cars. The individuals will give you items, um, the items you've ordered, and then we're asking everyone to exit out the back gate here. Uh, the northeastern gate near the baseball field and the southeastern, southwest, sorry, northwestern and southwestern gates are exit gate in the front and the exit gate near baseball will be uh, locked and you will not be able to go out that way or enter that way. So one way in and one way out, um, just kind of help with the flow and traffic patterns that evening. All right, so uh, here are the times for pickups on May 8th. Uh, seniors with the last names A through M, I'd like to request you come from six o'clock to seven o'clock. Letters A through C will go to the main entrance, that's location one again. D through J will go to the back bus ramp, that's location two. K through M will go to the gym lobby, location three, that is behind the, the greenhouse. So uh, seniors with the last names N through Z will come seven o'clock to eight o'clock. And uh, this is again to help us with social distancing and to make sure that we can have a good smooth flow of everything so that we can get items back to individuals appropriately. N through P will come to location one at the main entrance, Q through T to the back bus ramp and U through Z to the gym lobby. That is the only places that those items will be. If you go to the wrong location, you may have to re reroute and go back to the right location because we've got everything divvied out based on the last names and these locations. A um, <clears throat> couple of items just for news. Uh, there is a free lunch for all seniors from Chick-fil-A. Our local Ch Chick-fil-A wanted to do something special for our graduates. So Chick-fil-A grad day is scheduled for Tuesday, May the 12th. That's this coming Tuesday. It'll take place from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. At, at First Baptist Church on, uh, on Stewart Road, or on Stewart Road, yes. Um, so make sure that you uh, 
perhaps take an opportunity to go out there and uh, see that. Um, so um, at uh, one o'clock, that'll be the case, uh, at 11 o'clock to one o'clock. Walker Valley seniors were to register to get their free lunch. And again, you'll, you will need to have your school ID in order to identify that you are a senior and you're at Walker Valley. So your photo ID as you go through there. Uh, if you did not get a chance to register, the registration form is on the school website. It's one of the banners that says Chick-fil-A um, grad day. And you can click there and still register all the way up through uh, Monday. That link will go down on Monday because they'll need to make sure they have enough food for everyone who has registered. Um, we'll be serving uh, lunches for Walker Valley students out of our food trailer. So we're gonna move that from the food city on Keith Street on Monday afternoon. We'll bring it over to First Baptist Church, Cleveland, and uh, have it set up to the right as you enter the main entrance. And there's a large digital sign there for First Baptist. You'll go to, go to go on in that entrance and you'll see the food trailer set up over to the right. We'll have several faculty and staff out there uh, to see you guys and to wish you well and, and hand off your lunch. Just a way to celebrate with you. Students are to drive through. You're to remain in your car. After you receive your meal, we're asking that you please leave after that. Um, there was uh, some information about students remaining on campus, but after further uh, um, discussions with First Baptist Church, uh, who had first initially said that students are to remain on campus. We are advising students to leave after that. We do want an opportunity to recognize you and of course see your face, um, but we do not need um, students congregating there at the church. So uh, after you get your free lunch, please leave after that. All right, um, I want to kind of give you some updates about our June graduation. I wanted to thank our graduation committee who has been meeting pretty regularly here to try to recreate a lot of the elements that uh, we have for graduation. I wanna preface by saying everything that's shared in the next few screens is all dependent upon CDC recommendations and those change and update almost daily. Um, so we wanna make sure that we have a plan, but just understand that these are subject to change. So we're gonna start off with Tuesday of the week of graduation. Again, graduation date, um, will be June 18th, uh, but on the Tuesday of that week, we're looking at 5 o'clock to 5.50 p.m. That evening will be regalia pickup, and we'll do that in the cafeteria. We will notify students um, of any regalia that, that they're receiving because of honors level items, and that is all, a lot of that is based upon the, the senior uh, survey, exit survey that we had out and we're gonna clarify a lot of the, the, the regalia elements from that, but we will notify students who are receiving regalia due to honors level um, achievement and then also club achievement. So we'll, we'll notify students that way. At six o'clock, we're gonna plan on having our senior night. This will be in the gym um, so that we can have some social distancing. I'll send out another update a little later on to tell you how we'll actually be seating people in the gym and uh, we'll have a whole stage set up and everything. But the uh, regalia ceremony of the senior awards night will take place in the gym that evening. Now, <clears throat> for our senior awards night at six, six o'clock, we're basically gonna be telling that we're gonna be doing something a little different. Colleges and universities will not be during the senior awards night. We're gonna have a senior signing day and that's gonna happen on Wednesday afternoon, which I'll detail more for you a little later on. On that night though, for Tuesday night at six o'clock, we will recognize all local scholarship recipients. And those are the school level uh, scholarships that are given away annually. Departmental awards, club awards, and we'll recognize those in the armed services uh, who are signing up to go to the armed services. Um, we will also recognize um, individuals who are receiving regalia. We'll do that alphabetically. And as those individuals are in the audience or will they'll be, senior graduates will be seated in a, in a specific area. They'll stand up, turn around and be recognized. We'll be live streaming all of this as well. Um, so it'll be uh, captured from several different angles. On uh, Wednesday, Wednesday is a very long day um, and uh, we wanna make sure that we get all the information in there to you guys as soon as possible. 
The first thing will be a two hour graduation rehearsal. Seniors must be present at the graduation rehearsal in order to take part in graduation. So again, this is Wednesday, June 17th, it's beginning at nine o'clock. Seniors, you'll report to the auditorium as we have it right now. Um, but again, that may be uh, changed based on C CDC rec recommendations. Um, but we'll, <clears throat> we'll actually uh, line you guys up. We'll go through the graduation rehearsal on the football field. And then we're going to, at the conclusion of graduation rehearsal, our cafeteria staff wants to do something special and they're gonna sponsor a senior lunch. So a very special senior lunch in our cafeteria. We had debated doing it on the football field, but after further um, uh, conversations, we decided to do that in the cafeteria. We've also decided that, that during um, uh, the senior luncheon, we will actually do, we will actually play the senior video. So on June 17th, we'll do uh, like, in years past, we've had it where the senior video is shown prior to senior night. We're gonna do this during senior luncheon and uh, we'll, we'll actually have that playing in the cafeteria and all the cafeteria monitors and everything. Um, then we wanted to do something special. The order of this may be slightly changed. We're, we're trying to determine how to do this, but a senior walk through the, of the building one last time. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, I, on another update, I'll tell you exactly how we're going to do that. But we want you guys to be able to walk through the building one last time and uh, just to provide some closure. I know it's been kind of a unique year to say the least, but uh, we want to give you an opportunity to walk through the building one last time. Um, on Wednesday afternoon, five o'clock to six o'clock will be our academic signing day. And we'll have various locations that will be set up with different universities from around our area, Tennessee Wesleyan, um, UTC, UTK, uh, Lee University, Cleveland State, um, all the different chat states, um, you know, a variety of universities that normally take part in our senior award night. We'll invite them to come set up in a specific location. They'll bring a tablecloth that will be their university uh, and uh, individuals who have committed to say Lee University, they'll go to a, maybe perhaps the uh, band room and uh, the table will be set up, we'll have a backdrop and family and um, a family can be seated next to them, it's a photo opportunity and we'll have uh, uh, just a special time, it's similar to our, what we do with our, our athletic signing days, but this is an academic signing day. Um, on ac athletic signing days, we are also looking for a day to provide that, um, we have a meeting on Thursday of this week, tomorrow, actually, uh, to determine what that day will be. But I'll be getting that out in a future, um, a future update as well. At 6.30, we'll have baccalaureate in the gym. This is a special service uh, for our seniors. They'll be allowed to dress in their full regalia, uh, caps, gowns, and all of their medallions, cords, stoles um, that are awarded them for academic purposes and uh, we'll have them process in. Uh, we have a speaker who's a past graduate that will give a challenge. We have a local minister from Candy Creek Baptist. Uh, they, they always provide our baccalaureate celebration and then we have, we have cake available afterwards. Again, these are all tentative plans that we have coming up uh, for that. And so let me go back here because I don't have it in here, but again, uh, our um, graduation ceremony is tentatively set right now for June 18th on our football field. And I'll be sending out more information about that a little later on. Uh, I wanna say thank you to those of you who submitted uh, videos for our senior video for the MyMix 1041 uh, video. We have 63 of those that were submitted and are now currently being edited into a video presentation. So uh, thank you to all of those who, who submitted there. That'll run on all media outlets uh, the week of May 18th. So our, um, our media and everything, as well as uh, other local media um, outlets. So um, we're excited to see that being um, out there. We'll continue to closely monitor all elements concerning the CDC recommendations as we get closer and closer to the week of graduation. Please continue to check email daily, as well as the counseling website and the counseling Google Classroom for updates concerning anything concerning seniors. 
And as we get closer and closer to that day, please continue to remember that whether you're here or whether you're there, we're all still 